I am making a Shadal dinosaur deck profile. I don't know entirely what I'm doing, so I haven't tested this deck in a tournament yet. But if anyone has any ideas how I can improve the deck, feel free to let me know. And get into the main deck. I play one Jurak Aolo. It's just a level one tuner that you can summon from miscellaneous. And I play three Baby Sarasaurus and three Petite Tyranidon. Baby Sarasaurus, if it's destroyed by a card effect, you can then special summon one level four lower dinosaur from your deck. And Petite Tyranidon, when it's destroyed by a card effect, you can special summon one level four or higher monster from your deck, but it can't attack that turn. So Tyranidon normally summons Dino Wrestler Pankratops because of that. And. Baby Sarasaurus just helps summon any level 4 lore you need. And I play one Armageddon Knight so I can send either a Shadal monster or Overtex Codal to the grave to start to fill. And then I play three Soul Eating Oprahaptor. It's a Walking Foolish or Rota for any dinosaur monster. And it can destroy one other level 4 lower dinosaur on the field to then bring back a dinosaur from the grave in defense mode. Each of its fixer once per turn. Then I play, play three miscellaneous source. During either player's main phase, you can discard it so that all your dinosaurs become unaffected by opponent's card effects during that main phase. And you can banish it and any other number of dinosaurs from graveyard for cost to then summon a dinosaur from your deck that has a level equal to the number banished. Each of its fixer once per turn. And I play one giant rex. If it's banished once per turn, you can special summon it back. And when summoned, it gains 200 attack for each of your banished dinosaurs. And I play one Shadow Dragon. If it's sent to the grave by card effect, just target one spell or trap card, destroy it. One Shadow Beast, five up, putting it up to two. If it's sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can draw a card. Two over tax totals. If it is sent to the graveyard by a car effect, you can add one evolution pill from deck to hand. And you can stop or summon it from your hand by returning five banished dinosaurs from your, back to the deck, which does c come in handy every once in a while. Then I have to play three Dinosaurs by Pankratops. It's a free summon when your opponent controls more monsters than you. And during either player's turn, you can tribute one Dino Wrestler monster for cost. To then target one monster upon controls and destroy it. And to finish off the monsters, I play th three Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. It can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. You summon it from your by banishing two dinosaurs from your graveyard. And during the other player's turn, quick effect, you can destroy one monster that's either in your hand or face up on your field. To flip all your opponent's monsters face down. And if it battles a face down, or if it battles a defense monster, you can send it to the graveyard to then deal 1000 points of damage. That is it for the monsters. For the spells, I play one terraforming, one foolish burial, and one monster reborn. And then I play three fossil dig, lets you add one level six or lower dinosaur from your deck to your hand. Three Lost World. Lost World increases the attack of all non dinosaurs by 500. And then, if a dinosaur is summoned, you su once per turn you can summon a token to your opponent's side of the field. While they control a token, they cannot target other monsters on the field for card effects except the token. And if a normal monster or monsters will be destroyed, you destroy the dinosaur from your deck instead. And I play three Shadal Fusion. It's a normal fusion card that also lets you use your monsters in your deck. Or it's a normal fusion card that lets you fusion summon shit all monsters. But if your opponent controls an extra deck monster, you can also use monsters in your deck. Then to finish off the deck, I play three double evolution pill. You banish a dinosaur and a non-dinosaur from your hand and or graveyard for cost. And then summon a dinosaur from your deck that has level five or higher. 
Moving on to the extra deck, I play one Pentastag. It's a generic link two that lets the any linked monster point to you control to inflict piercing. Then I play two Shed All Winda. This card is well in play, lets you make so that neither player can special summon more than once per turn after it has been summoned. And if it's destroyed, you can add one Shed All Fusion card from your graveyard to your hand. Play one Grista, one Shekinaga, and two Construct. Those ones never come up, but I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. Then I play one High Speed or Chimbara. Chimbara's ability gets two attacks per battle phase, and each time it battles, it gains 200 attack points. So if its attacks gets 200, or if it, it's being attacked, it gains 200. Then I play one Trishula. It just banishes the card from your opponent's hand, field, and or graveyard. Then I play one number 60. This card lets you get over many big things with Ultimate Conductor by doubling its attack from 35 to 7,000. Play do two Dolka. If during your player's turn when your opponent it activate a monster effect, you must material and negate it and destroy it, and it's not once per turn. Then for everything else your opponent might do, two evils are Logia. If your opponent lets summon a monster, activate a spell or trap card. You can negate the, the activation or summon and destroy it. And to finish off the extra deck, I play one Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon goes up max. By using one material, you can deal 2,000 damage once per turn. One of my friends thought he survived a dinosaur onslaught with 200 life points left, and I went, no, he didn't, and he goes on after his punch for a game. That is it for my deck profile. If you have any ideas on what I can do to improve it, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching.